I'm going to head back to Artboard number five from the list in here. And again, we have some clouds that need to be uh, tweaked. So again, I'm going to pick up my zoom tool and zoom in nice and close to those. Switch to my selection tool and I'm going to click on this cloud, hold down the shift key and shift and left click on the other cloud as well. Under the window menu, we have Illustrator brushes that can be found under a brushes panel. When you open this up, then you'll find that we have a series of brushes that have been added in here for us. Usually the three that we have in the middle in here. We've got a basic brush that creates a black line. We've got a chalk brush and then we've also got what's called a bristle brush, which is supposed to look a little bit more realistic and closer to representing a proper bristle brush. And what we can do then is you can hover over that bristle brush and left click and it creates this effect. And you do have down at the bottom under brush libraries, bristle brush, bristle brush library, a whole host of these that you can then click on and try out different effects. Notice that every time when you click on one of these, it adds it to the main brushes panel as well. So lots of different ways that you can change the appearance inside of Illustrator of something by changing its stroke and applying a brush. I'll click on the X in there, click away. And that is the first step into brushes inside of Illustrator.